Welcome back to the channel guys, Kerry Gray here at the Junalup Resort. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about how the shoulders need to work in the golf swing, in the backswing, in the downswing, and how they need to bend to ensure that you're getting the most consistency out of your ball striking. Let's get into it. Movement of the upper body is incredibly important to understand and be able to control to get effective, repeatable ball striking. Engulf the balls on the ground, so we need to have a specific tilt or angle to our movement throughout the golf swing. So what does that mean? So today we're gonna to be talking about the shoulders and how they need to work throughout the motion. So starting from the address position, if I was to put this stick across my shoulders and it's matching the white stick down on the ground, a backswing motion would mean that my shoulders would turn from, let's call this zero degrees, back 90 degrees into this position here. From there, because golf is played on the ground, to hit this golf ball effective and be able to create some consistency with this motion, we need what's called tilt. So tilt, or side bend, is when my left shoulder would get closer to my left hip. And in this position here, you can see that I've got some angle to my shoulders at the top of my backswing. So how does this look in the address position? Well, golf, we're in a tilted position from the hips. So as I'm making my backswing, I'm looking to get my lead shoulder working down towards the golf ball. Now, as I do this and my lead shoulder works down, my right side begins to lengthen. As I then continue to make this motion, what that does is that organizes my arms and my body into such a position, which means it's gonna be easier for me to strike that ball more consistently. Now, one of the big faults and errors that we see with recreational golfers is in the backswing, they would not have any tilt to their shoulders. So as they make their backswing, they tend to make too much of a rounded motion. And then this has the follow-on effect of causing some issues with the position in their arms and also the plane of their golf swing coming down. So a great way to practice these moves is to get at home, get in front of a mirror or something similar, grab a stick and simply put it across your shoulders such as this, and make some back swings, trying to get a feeling of this left shoulder working down in the golf swing. Now this is a very misunderstood concept by a lot of players. A lot of players are trying to turn flat as they take the golf club back, but that would be an okay movement if the ball was played out in front of us. But in golf, because it's on the ground, we need some incline to our body for the maximum effectiveness of strike. So what's the exact feeling we're looking for when we're rehearsing this motion? Well, if I stand up facing the camera in the golf swing, the left side of your body in the backswing for the right-hander. So the left shoulder needs to move closer to the left hip. And this creates a crunch in your left side here. So if I isolate these movements and from the address position, I simply get my left shoulder going closer to my left hip and then I then turn, well, we can see that this is a backswing motion. If I was to turn without having any left bend, it would look like this. I would tend to laterally sway off the golf ball or shift, and I would tend to have too much of a flat shoulder plane, once again, causing my arms to overcompensate. So to get that aesthetic that you see with a lot of pros, with where as they swing to the top of their golf swing, their lead arm is kind of matching their shoulder plane, and their left shoulder is tilted down, their right side of their body has naturally lengthened. This is a great spot to then hit the golf ball in a more repeatable fashion. But for that to happen, you must ensure as you're making your backswing to even start off that this left shoulder is working more down to the ground in the backswing. So that's the backswing. How does it then relate to the downswing? Well, it's pretty much the same. So if I swing to the top of my backswing, my left shoulder is going down. In the downswing, what we're looking for is to get the right shoulder going down. Now at the same stage, yes, the hips are moving forward and rotating. So there is a bit of a sequence to the motion. But in its most simplistic form, if we can get the sensation of the left shoulder going in the backswing and the right shoulder going down in the follow through, that would then ensure that my body is staying in its incline and I'm more likely to be able to strike that ground consistently. Some of the biggest errors that we see with players is when they lose this incline, either in the backswing one way or another, or in the downswing, be it that the right shoulder is moving too under, usually for someone who thins and hooks the ball, or the right shoulder moves too far over, usually for someone who tends to slice the golf ball. So being able to control the plane of that shoulders in the backswing and the follow through goes a long way in creating some more consistency and predictability with how that club's gonna return back to the ball. 
So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Just a quick snapshot on how the shoulders need to move throughout the motion. But if you've got any questions, please ask below and I'll be happy to help. But until next time, please like and subscribe, share with your friends. I'm Kerry Gray, thanks for watching.